Jonathan Kale. Um, I'm gonna be um making like these segments called uh I don't know what I'm gonna call them. I'm gonna give you like the scripture verse. And then after I give you the scripture verse, I'm gonna um explain to you what it means, and I'm gonna um explain to you what the church says it means. Um and you know how they use it wrongly or you know how people uh, speak falsely you know whether they mean to or whether they don't okay um so uh... i'm not here to you know really i mean i might end up doing it but i'm not really here to make fun or mock you know but um if i if i if i get out of hand and, and um make light of the way people misuse it's still all love so know that I'm not trying to come off like um I'm better than you because I know because I once also uh, said these things these are church lingos um, sometimes they're church cliches you know um, stuff like that so anyway today we're gonna do Romans 4 17 okay um, I know the Lord wants me to explain thoroughly good teaching and so I want you all to get this because um here it is okay it says right here it says uh I'm gonna start at verses 16 so this is Romans 4 I'm gonna start with verses 16 but the key is 17 okay it says therefore it is a faith that it might be according to grace so that the promise might be sure to all the seed not only to those who are of the law but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all, as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations, in the presence of him whom he believed, God, who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. Okay, now that's the scripture. Alright, so, um, in the church you'll hear oftentimes people say you know um, and, and we call those things that are not as though they were in the name of Jesus Lord God let them be healed you see um, or we say things you know randomly okay and we just randomly use it we misuse it sometimes we mis paraphrase it we take the context out and, 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 and treat it like as if it doesn't matter okay well in this case there is no context that people are misunderstanding they're just saying it wrong period because it says God who brings life to the dead and calls those things that are not as though they were so God is the one who calls things that are not as though they were and what you'll hear is you'll hear prosperity pastors prosperity preachers like Kenneth Copeland and, and you know people of that sort you know the cheesy um, you know televangelist preachers um, American cheesy American televangelist preachers who always got the suit the real you know I don't know the background you know the whole little setup okay and um and they speak with zeal and they speak with with passion you know but they're all the way wrong and they 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 they're like it's embarrassing you understand because when you read it but see they 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 preach to the gullible and they <clears throat> and um and these type of people they don't want to be corrected they don't want to be corrected so um you know the holy spirit even told me this morning that uh you know the things that the Holy Spirit will give you are the same things that the church will rebuke, will will try to um, come against, and, and you know, and stuff like that. So anyway, um, I'm gonna just share you all uh, this this good this good teaching, and it's basic, it's simple, and um, it's not anything deep. It's just simple. Okay, it says God who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did okay and all we do is just we, t we take that and we try to call those things that is not as though 
they were and, and the, you can't do that you know now now by faith you can pray you can petition the Lord you can ask God to do things but God is not going to just do things um just because you said that 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 it's going to be you don't speak life into existence and you don't bring life to the dead Jesus does that that's why he said I'm the resurrection okay so if you're going to say you call those things that are not as though they were then that means you can bring life to the dead and you can't you can't not without the help of Jesus okay and you also can't you know just call those things that are not as though they were you know you can't bring life you can't form a tree um, trees were not, you know, rivers were not, um, us living for Jesus, we weren't, just because you say, you're going to live for Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I believe it to be so, and, and it's so, you're okay, everything's okay, it's false, it's false, okay, so, it doesn't work that way, it's not biblical, if you read how the apostles spoke, how you, how you read how Paul spoke, you read how Jesus spoke, they always told you, you know, endure, walk circumspectly, you know, not as fools but as wise. Okay, um, redeeming the time because the days are evil. They know, they always warned you that things were coming bad. You know, the word exhortation means to warn, okay, and it means to advise. So they advise you, and it means to encourage as well. But people don't want to be advised and they don't want to be warned. That is encouraging. If God is warning me about how to get to heaven, that encourages me. Let that encourage you. Okay, so, um, yeah, so anyway, uh, that's what it is for that one. Romans 4, 17. Call those things that are not as though they were. It's a cliche that we misuse.